do you have a 100% timeline and the 100% timeline as i had explained to you was the timeline required for you to get 100% of a comprehension question correct and i'm talking about comprehension here because all the question types in verbal nowadays in cat are essentially around comprehension only so do you have a 100% timeline is the first point that i need you to check do you have it and in case it's yes obviously the preparation strategy will be different to someone who does not have an 100% timeline that means that if you pick up a reading comprehension passage and uh, on an average you pick up 5 7 10 passages from various areas and you try to give them unlimited time for yourself and you realize that you're not able to get more than 70 80% correct even if you have unlimited time then there's no way in which in limited time under the cat uh, time frame of 1.5 minutes per question you will be able to do more than 50 55% correct so you will always be ki panch attempt kiye do right teen wrong aaya ya fir teen right aaya do wrong aaya you will always be in that zone so the first solution you have to tackle in case you do not have a 100% timeline is the flow chart of what you should do next so the first thing you look at is why don't you have a 100% timeline theek hai of course uh, if in a time wise phase this guy is 2 out of 5 and this guy is also 2 out of 5 in a time bound situation the problem with somebody who's got a 100% timeline who can get 100% correct given time is the speed aspect he is not able to execute that within time whereas the problem of someone who in unlimited time is also 3 out of 5 or 3 and 1/2 out of 5 on average his problem is that he can't get better than this unless you raise that 3 out of 5 in unlimited time to 5 out of 5 or at least 4 and 1/2 out of 5 you don't have a chance of improving this this guy can just improve it by improving his speed and his accuracy within time within the given framework he knows what to do you don't know what to do if you belong to this category